Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at a very handy little vehicle called the BSE Combined Salvager, which is this lovely thing right here. So it's a flying salvage vehicle that can just go over to any kind of wreckages and just start grinding away and collect up all the goods to be deposited back at your base. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 1,216 small blocks and it uses the decorative block number one DLC packs and no mods. Coming out of there and coming around to the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside. Then I'll spawn it in a large ship to have an accident with and then we can go across and salvage it. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got a bunch of grinders just to go and collect up all your goods on your journey. Where I'm sitting, we've got our industrial cockpit with a camera sitting just below there to help aim our grinders. On the left and the right of the cockpit, we have some spotlights to light up the darkness in case we're doing some long hours. If I was to come all the way down to here, we've got another camera just to make sure that we're not going to damage the bottom of the vehicle when, say, trying to get to hard to reach places. As we move around the side and pass all of our grinders, look at all of them, we'll see some great block work and of course some atmospheric thrusters. Atmospheric thrusters are the only form of thrust that appear on this ship, so are only good for planets. Yes, we've got a ladder that comes all the way up to here. We've got a small little walkway so we can get into our cockpit and drive this thing, and of course access our programmable block, which is right there. For our internals, we've got some oxygen tanks, O2H2 generators, batteries, oxygen generators, and of course we can see in there some small reactors to power this thing got a lovely little window to view inside at what's going on with the ship which is very nice if you want to repair something up or swap something around. Coming over to here we've got a doorway to go in and out so if you really did want to do some repair work with the gyroscopes or access our large cargo container down there you can do. Of course looking up there we've got ourselves a beacon and another battery. Moving out of there and coming around to our thruster pod we do have some small atmospheric thrusters to help us on our left and our right. And over here, in between our large atmospheric thrusters, we've got an LCD screen showing us the logo of the company that developed this ship. Moving all the way around to the very back of this thing, this is what we get. We can see our battery right there, so we can see how much charge we have, but also more lovely block work. Just above there, we can see the tops of our beacon, as well as some blast or edge blocks for some more decoration. Then coming all the way down to here, we can see the bottom of what looks like be a wheel block, but it's missing the wheel at the bottom there so you could attach it if you wanted to, or just use this as a little point to land down onto the ground. But yes, under here, this is what we get. We can see the bottom of our large cargo containers, we can see all of our thrusters, another camera to help aim up our connector right here when we want to finish with this vehicle and snap it onto a base and unload all our goods. We can see the ladders on both sides, and then over to here, some more lovely block work, which is coming across and linking up all of our grinders together. And now we come all the way up to the top, past our cockpit, all the way up past the spotlights. This is what we get. So we can see the walkway on the left and the right and our nice little railings made out of these small blocks, our atmospheric thrusters, and over here we can peer inside our hydrogen engine thanks to those unfinished blocks and it does look fantastic. There is the battery at the top and there is the top of our beacon right there. So that's a very brief around the outside. It's time to get into my character and we can come down to here and come up the ladder. So coming up the ladder, we'll come onto our little walkway. We can come and access everything over here. So our little programmable block right here, which is currently running fancy display script. It's got a lot of stuff going on with it and quite scary to look at. Coming over to here, we've got ourselves a button, which is going to be the light on and off all the way around the outside, and our doorway to open up and access all the stuff inside. Yes, that's going to be the same on the opposite side, coming around to here. Got a doorway to open up to access our another little script block, which is currently running nothing. Then we can close that up, come over to here and open that up, and access our cargo container once again. Moving around over to here and getting into our cockpit, we've got a few controls to go through. Number one is to view our camera sitting just below our cockpit. Number two is to activate our grinders so we can use our left mouse button to start grinding everything up. Number three is for our camera just below our grinders to get a better view at what's going on. 
and number four is to turn them on permanently and to turn them off without using our mouse. Six and seven is to turn off our power guzzlers, so pressing number seven will turn off all of our stuff and will come crashing down to the ground. Pressing number six will turn everything back on and we can now continue on with whatever we are doing. Number eight is for our camera that views straight down and number nine is for our connector on and off at the bottom. Pad number two, three and four is empty, so we'll give this a quick little thruster test, then I'll spawn in a large ship to accident. Moving forwards, this is what we get. We are quite a slow vehicle, but that's to be expected. We're not a fighter and we're not a transport ship, so we just need to get over to a place to start grinding. Stopping as well, we are quite quick because we've got a good thruster distribution all the way around this ship. Then moving left and moving right, we're actually quite quick with that. And then going down and going up, we are nice and fast, which is what you want. You want to be able to pull away from the ground, especially when you're all nice and heavy with all the stuff you've collected. Wiggling my mouse around, this is what we get. We've got a nice bit of weight on here, so it's not too floaty, and it does suit this size of ship. Yes, now it's time for me to get out of here, and we can spawn in a nice large ship to have a small little accident. So finding the Albatross, because that's always a good ship to use, and doing this, yeah, we should now slam it straight down into the ground and we'll be able to salvage whatever's remaining. So there we go, it's had an accident and we've been deployed to go and grind up whatever we can from the wreckage. So flying all the way over to here and we'll come over and start grinding. We do have some very fancy LCD screens at the top of our cockpit so we can see how full our grinders are and how full the containers are, our artificial horizon and of course our batteries and reactor output. Yes, we're going to come over to here, activate our camera to make sure we are nice and safe, and we'll start grinding up over here where the Gatling gun is. Yes, coming crossed, and going to third person view. We're now going to start grinding this away, and we should start to fill up our containers. Going like this. It's a lot easier to view it from underneath, so I'm very thankful for having that camera right there. So we can grind away here, we're going at some nice speeds. We can start to get in there, I believe that's the jump drive it might be. So let's go and get rid of that. But that is it for the BSE Combine Salvager. It's a very nice little ship. If you want to say play a role where you're a salvage merchant and you go over to stations to sell whatever you collected from the wreckages spread about the world. Remembering that in survival mode you can find wreckages of different ships, so you could always try and make a living from that. Yes, there'll be a link to this in the description below if you do wish to play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.